trying to learn Unity and you obviously have this question like, do I need to learn C Sharp first before I begin start making games? So the answer is no. You do not have to know C Sharp or any other language. You just start making games. You just have to fiddle with the Unity. Go to the Unity and start making very simple games. I know the C Sharp is important, but it's, it is just one part of the game. Let me show you how it is just one part because this is very important but this is just one part this is not everything that makes a game a game consists of many things like all those images and there are animations there are like those splashes effects i mean you can your game can be any simple complex it is not just a code code is what gives it like you you control that game with the code but there are so many things that are system built unity built which do not need code. They are like already made things. Okay, here's a very simple prototype I just made and uh, let me show you. When do you need the code? So I attached this object and let me show you what happened. I created a player and this player is a sprite which I took by going to here to, to the object and then attaching a sprite and then from here in the sprite renderer I took this and selected this and this object needed some properties to act to behave like I am creating a game so I want things to act or behave according to me means computers are dumb and we have to teach them like that so what I did I added some properties what are those properties let's come to here to this object I these two were already attached the transform and sprite render these were already attached so I added rigid body 2d rigid body 2d means I am making this a real world object something like anything can be your mouse can be a stone can be a wood piece can be anything like a real world object which acts like a real world object like it. when we throw it falls down like that okay it has mass it has shape like that so it, if it has shape and mass if we throw it or drop it it lands somewhere and that's how we know this is a real world object we are making a real world object so we need to attach one more thing that is a collider box collider 2d since this is a 2d game so we are attaching 2d things how we added that we went here components physics 2d and then a box collider 2d if it was a it, it were a circular body then we would have it added this circle collider 2d if it were a complex shape like a star then a polygon collider 2d easy easy now this has everything but it should land on ground if we are dropping a stone from a very high building it will not land until it is it is on the ground so we have to put the ground somewhere so i added this platform i took a cube a 3d object cube made it large on x-axis a bit small on y-axis and then you press W or this thing and put it down here since I already have it so I will just delete this and delete this so what was my point do I really need to learn C sharp no up till now I haven't used C sharp yes I have used it part the functionality but what I am doing right now it is all the things which are unity built you can make a lot of things a lot of a lot of functionality functionality to the game but you will need c sharp eventually to make it amazing i mean some functionalities can only be can be added with c sharp that is a code like okay if i touch on the screen what should happen your c sharp script will decide that and you will decide that i mean you are writing you are telling the computer do this this is the condition I I want to happen. It's that easy. It's not very tough. When you start making things, things will start making sense to you. And now, what will happen if I play this game? There is a platform which has a box collider. I mean, that is also a real world object, but that doesn't fall because it is like Earth. That that will not fall down further. And now, <clears throat> I had given a condition in the C in the code like when this object touches this part or go beyond this part, then display a fail screen i mean it makes fun so when we play this game 
let's do it let's do it okay i i tap i stop it from touching those extremes when it touch it fails so how we did that we have added all those objects and how it displayed that screen by default no when it touched so now the interactivity comes with the c sharp that is where you need c sharp like the code it is important but it is not the only th thing that you need to know like there could be animations i could be animating a particle here but that's not c sharp i mean you have to create the sprites that's a totally different thing i mean the controls come with the uh, code but you have to make something sprite like a moving object that's a simple thing not, not a problem now let's open this c sharp script which i added to the player it may look a bit daunting to you right now but calm down it's not very tough i have taken a variable that is of type rigid body 2d and the name of that variable is rbd i created this here now this variable needs a value that value is here we are giving it this value how let's see here now we want this subject in to this subject we have attached a script that script want to access this rigid body component that we have added to the subject i mean this object has many components attached and a c sharp script is one of them you understand that c sharp is one of the component that you will need in your game so from that c sharp script i mean this is also a script down there this is also a script it's also c sharp script but it is pre written okay now from our script that is small one we want to access this we do not want to create rigid body script all those velocity angular drag and all those things these are pre-made i mean that's how things work so we have to access this how we created a variable of a type and we gave that a name and now we want to access so what we did we use this get component this is system built do not worry about it then what this is body 2d and now this has been initiated this has been given a value now when we tap and how unity understands if it is a tap that's an input input can be a keyboard input like this pressing key but i am doing it for android i will not talk about that if it's a get one down if i am touching on the screen and the input is fire one fire one means tap on the screen i mean it could be acceleration like tilting your phone i will be teaching you about that also in the, in the later video or maybe in gyro what else is there what else is there am i missing something no it's a gyro and a tap I, I like that if i am tapping on the screen what should happen the rigid body the real body real world object that ha we have attached to that object that should i mean the whole body the whole player needs add force we will add force to this <coughs> this object on what on y-axis up and down head to toe how how that is zero on x one on y and zero on z axis that's how we write this vector two means let me write vector two vector two means like this new vector two zero comma one comma zero these are two only got that back to two up means zero on x and up one on that simple as that just i will remove that because this is not needed here into jump force jump force is a variable another variable variable we created because right now this is just one we want to make it more i have given a value here five <clears throat> and i made it a public variable public means it is accessible it is visible to all other functions classes and it is also visible in unity editor i will show you how oh my computer is making a lot of noise just don't worry about that it's loading now since i saved the script so it is doing that are, are you getting what i'm saying 
like C sharp is needed because this is one of the object but it is not everything that is the one thing that you have to keep in mind yes you will need C sharp eventually but if you are just <clears throat> mastering C sharp just learning it I don't know I have to master C sharp first before I even start opening unity then you are going wrong you have to start making and what's happening over here if you just looked at it don't get confused I am saying if the position of the player is above this above mean above the screen height on the upper part on the head part or these two slash uh, dot, uh, lines mean or I mean if if is a condition if inside this we have two conditions if it is minus means uh, minus here means bottom because y axis on when it goes down be like your legs is a negative when it is above your uh, stomach it's uh, positive so when it goes down and uh, beyond that screen like that feet of the screen then or it goes above the head then it should load this scene that scene which was showing display or oh, fail red screen like that and how for that we needed something but simple okay just don't get confused what i did i added the force on a touch to what to a rigid body what is a rigid body is player how is this a player because we have added the rigid body component simple as that so are you getting the point right you will need the c sharp eventually but it is not the only thing you will need for making games when you start making games you will start understanding things gets easy and easy and easy and do ask me questions if you are finding out because i know this is still very big thing for you if you are a beginner i when i was a beginner i was finding it very tough to get like started on these things how i will be able to write these variables one day i mean those all those people are, are like writing them so easily no it comes eventually when you start making games just start making games every day just start making very simple games like flappy bird kind of games tap 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 maybe till 10 to, i'll teach you them all okay i hope this is helping do do ask me questions i will be happy because i know the things i have learned the hard way thank you have a great day